Hello and welcome back to another video guys. In this video I am going to go through these two diagnostic machines. I'd probably say they're probably one of the best machines you can get at this current time. I'm sure there will be other diagnostic tools that are probably equivalent, same, similar. Again, I've always said it will vary on the price. The price does reflect what it can and what it can't do and again, it's, it's the decision to be made is by yourselves. But I will go through everything that I that I know and I will go through the functions and what it's capable of and I am currently comparing these two here so the K7 at the top and K10 at the bottom this is a BMW M3 I'm at I've got here and across here we have an F series one series one series F model um, again they are fully uh, spec'd both are um, I've plugged it in so the K7 Sorry, the K10 is connected to this one, okay? And the K7 is connected to the M3 here. Now, I am gonna go through what it is capable of doing. So here it is, as you can see, okay? And the reason I haven't really um, paired them up is so you can all see how long and the difference if in we time. were to do intelligence, intelligent both, as you can see, that one instantly went on to the option and this one. So remember, this is connected to this vehicle, M3. This is connected to that one. And remember, they are both Bluetooth. Um, the good thing about this one, the K10, is that um, you've got the Bluetooth. And if that ever packs up and doesn't work, then you've got hard wire that you can pair from there. To this machine uh, so as you saw this one picked up a lot a lot earlier and that one's still searching in other words so you can see the time difference remember this is cheaper than this one now in terms of figure this is around the k7s around 300 400 pound ish depends on the you know the offers they have on this one is around uh 800 pound 900 pound ish again will depend on the offer uh, you can check it out on Amazon. I have popped the links in below for you all to see. Now, as you can see here, this is what it's kind of brought on the K10. And that's what it shows on the K7. Now, we'll do an auto search. Diagnosis. Auto search is a full diagnostic scan, okay? So, on this one, I'm not, I'm not in that section as of yet, okay? So, I'm like probably a step behind. So... It tells us the mileage, which is good. You, you really do. I think uh, it's really I think when it comes to, um, so for instance, anyone in the car industry, uh, this is very important, the mileage. This tells you instantly what the mileage is as well as this one. So you can see both uh, with the mileage present, tells you in kilometers and mile, kilometers and mile, okay? <coughs> uh, this is the one series, 120DX drive, right and drive, uh, production data and whatnot uh, so it tells you everything again this one will also tell you uh, s55 engine b47 engine fair enough so we'll hit next we'll hit next um okay so this is just thinking about it as well as that one the reason I'm, I'm i'm doing it in the bmw world um i've got the ignition off i think switch this off, off on this one for the K10. Um, the reason I've gone for BMW is because BMW and Merck is uh, lovely to work with in terms of when it comes to diagnostic well. There are every diagnostic machine out there, I'm sure there'll, there'll be more options where you can work on the BMWs and Mercs. Um, hence why I've done it on this. So you can see what the capability is basically. So as you can see, so if I hit smart scan, so if I hit health report on this, so that's Full diagnostic scan ongoing now and full diagnostic scan ongoing now as well. So we'll see obviously which one finishes first, but um so that one's already done it, and that's the K7. Amazing. Um that's for the M3, this is for the one series F20. So we shall so this one's also done as well. Now it's picked up a few faults, which this is just for the um They've both had dead batteries, in other words. Um, but if you wanted to just to see what the fault is, I like this. The EGR, which there is a recall on the BMs anyway. 
and this one the welcome pack as you can see uh, now they're both so far so good i mean they both do as should really and if we were to clear them we we'll just do that I'll, I'll talk about the differences uh, as we go along as well but i'll go through some of the bullet points shall i say you know that um that are very different from each other so the k7 and the k10 uh i mean as we can already see the size uh, of the screens are, are completely different uh the size on the k7 here is seven inch uh, 1280 by 72 uh, 720 sorry um and the k10 is 10 inch 1280 by 800 the battery capacity on this um on the k7 is um 6000 mah and the battery on the k10 is 12600 mah which is like double nearly double so it's really good for mechanics you've got to understand if you're a mechanic and you're doing a lot of um mechanical work and diagnostics and live data and whatnot i do highly recommend getting the k10 but that's for you all to decide anyway um the cpu version as well um on the k7 is a it's a mt67614 core cortex um and it's on a 1.8 jz but the the k10 is a again mt8766 core 4 but uh, on a 2.0 jz um so that's the difference between the CPU version as well. So the K10 has a diagnostic extension cable as we've um, already gone through in the past anyway. Um, and as you've seen in the previous videos, um, this, like I said, has the Bluetooth, uh, which is paired up. It's not this one, it's in the other vehicle, um, as well as the hardwire. So if God forbid, if you ever broke that, at least you can hardwire it to the uh, diagnostic machine. And, and, and I I've always said, if you're in the mechanical world and you're doing diagnostics and every day you're using it, think twice. If you do, you know, mess up and you can't stop the business, you have to carry on. So it's always best to have the um, a hardwire, which the K10 comes, but that doesn't. <clears throat> and um, other things we can, you know, what, what would be different would be <clears throat> between the K10 and the K7. The K10 has an intelligent diagnostic and remote diagnostics, whereas the K7 doesn't have that. Okay, uh, the K10, as we've, um, I'll go through it as well. It has the topology um, map, so there is a map section. So, for instance, if we come out of this, this is the sort of map. Okay, <clears throat> this is the map you get. So, if you were to do a, I don't know, let's just clear the fault on this. Well, this is what you'd get. Besides this, you will also get the normal version, okay? Um, would be like um, system list, so like this way. And you can look at the fault code in a sort of way as well. Um, but that's the difference between this one and that one. Um, obviously, that one doesn't have it, as we already know. Um, there is a few other things as well, different. Uh, so the, um, the K10 has a free VGA guidance function for Volkswagen and uh, for Audi. Wow, the K7 doesn't. Sorry, I've had to move them. Obviously, one of the beneficial side of the K10 is the fact that it has that. And the this one obviously doesn't, which, again, will reflect on the price. Um, there we go. And um, So I'll move on to a few other um, things, you know, like in terms of difference between this K10 and the K7. Uh, we've already discussed a few. So I'll be moving on to, for instance, there's in terms of reset function so when i say reset function i'm talking about things such as let's go into um maintenance let's just talk about some of the maintenance or even other resets such as egr uh, crankshaft learn um, there's a lot of things so these are known as you know um they're known as these sort of functions like the reset service okay the k10 the k10 has a lot more reset functions compared to the k7 uh, so the k7 has 31 reset services while the k10 has 41 reset functions so there is a quite a difference and remember guys you know if you're high up in the game then don't question again this wins in that sense there is a price difference it's probably half the value but um if you're just doing like a a car a week or once or twice 
Well, you know, if you're not if you're not that deep into the card game, then yeah, this one is, is a no no brainer. You you have best going for that one. But if you're doing it every day and it's your game, then do go for that one. And and reset, you know, the service reset is really important when it comes to it. Um, so yeah, the, the car brands uh, for the K7 it covers roughly 100 plus cars, uh, car brands and supports about 17 languages, uh, whereas the K10 sports a good uh, 150 plus car brands and uh, around 32 languages, uh, which as you can see, things near near enough double in this sense. Um, so that's, that's for the K10. Um, again, it's a winner in that sort of sense. The K10 supports CanFD and uh, Diop vehicles um, protocols, while the K7 only supports CanFD protocols. Um, so it is, it is down to yourselves what you want to do with it. But again, it's a win-win situation. Uh, you got to think ahead of the game sometimes. Um, so the other, so the other beneficial side of the K10 compared to the K7 is the fact that you get other pins like <clears throat> OBD pins. So you see how you've got a 16 pin there. Um, the the difference would be that's all you get for the K7, literally that nothing else. Whereas the K um, K10 comes with uh, actually a lot more cables, uh, as you could have probably seen in my previous videos. Uh, it comes with the old school pins like the Mercedes Benz 38 pin, the BMW uh, 20 pin Nissan 14, in the 16, and the uh, Fiat um, Mitsubishi Ion dies and whatnot. You know all the other vehicle. Um, OBD cables. It does come with a box, like um, as you, as you've probably seen in the previous video, it's a box full of like tools and whatnot, um, which that comes with it, and this one doesn't. So, so it is a bonus in that sense. That's if you do all you know, all sorts of vehicles. I mean, I've done the game for a long time. I'll be honest. I've only probably done one or two old classic cars, especially old school BMs. Throughout the year, maybe three or four times. So it is worth it. You got to think, um, you know, is it worth investing? That nah, I think you do, because you don't know what to predict. You don't know what you're gonna buy. You don't know what's gonna come in. So it's highly recommendable in that sense compared so, to the K7. In terms of software and update, the K7 obviously supports three years free update. Okay, so for three years you'll have free update. After the three years is up, obviously the, it will come at a price for the update and the yearly update cost for the K7 is about $99 a year, which is, do you know what? If you're going to ask me, is it worth that $99? It, it, it definitely is. Because if you go and buy an hotel machine, I'm not talking about launch X tool and whatnot, but just any other machine, you're going to be paying like double, double the price. Um, so... That's what the price is on that, which is good. Three years free update. You can't go wrong, honestly. It's a no-brainer. This one, however, on the other hand, comes with two years. Two years free update. After the two years, it'll be $399 a year. But then again, don't forget, guys, this is the top shelf stuff. This, this is unbeatable. Like I've always said before, if I'm comparing this with my hotel diagnostic machine, the Ultralight, and I spent two and a half, three grand on that piece of kit, you know what? This does everything my hotel does, but for what? For nearly a fraction of the price of that, more or less. And it's a no-brainer, and it does everything what my hotel did. And remember, it's also user-friendly as well. It's so dead easy to use. It's nothing complicated. It's just literally a click of a button, and you're there. It's not like slow. It's not sluggish. But it's brilliant in that sense. So another benefit of the K10 compared to the K7 is that it has six different testers so for example you know your battery tester the ADAS tire pressure monitor um, printer um, it does have this obviously the K7 K7 has five uh, functions uh, compared to the K10 and obviously it doesn't have the ADAS as well so that's that one's eliminated now um, remember both the diagnostic machine, the K7 and the K10, can code and program modules. So, for example, if you were to replace the headlights, 
they will both do this. They both have the same function. They both can do ECU coding. There are hidden features within the BMW world, the Merc world as well, or even the Toyota, Lexus, whatever you want to call them, where you can do hidden features. So what they consist of is, so for example, you want to turn off your seatbelt warning, uh, you want to brighten up the headlights, the rear tail lights. Obviously, every car varies. So on the BMs, you can do a lot. On the Mercs, you can do a lot. On the Lexus, Toyota, whatnot, there'll be lesser functions. Um, but... Um, there's these uh, things that you can do with them both, to be fair. It's exactly like I've said. This uh, diagnostic machine is very similar to the hotel, but like I said, it's a fraction of the price. So it really is a no-brainer. Um, but that they are capable of quite high standards. I mean, in the mechanic world, don't think twice. Go for the K10. You know, if you're just a beginner, you, you want to get into it and you want to find your way through, then go for the K7. Uh, in this instance but uh, honestly my money's on the k10 all, all 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 way so in conclusion um we've spoken about all the differences between the k7 and k10 and we can see that they both um you know do a great job when it comes to diagnostics um whether it's coding programming whatever it is they're both brilliant piece of kit but the question here is which one you go for now i've said in the video uh, and in the past and even in the future, I will say the same. If you are just doing one vehicle a week and it's just a side hobby, I guess, nothing fancy, then the K7, of course, will hit most of the um, uh, options that you want. However, if you are a mechanic and it's your daily job to change an injector, EGR, uh, crankshaft, camshaft, whatever it is, well, you know, whatever the job is, if you're a mechanic then don't think twice, go for the K10 because that hits every single um it hits every single like option that you need. Um and then there is there is no doubt it's a bigger screen. Um just looks a proper kit, if you ask me. And you have all the other dongles as well, the OBDs. Um they, they come in handy when you need them. You got the battery testers, you got Besides the Bluetooth OBD, you have the manual hardwired, which goes from the car to the machine, which remember, a day's work, if you're missing that and the OBD is broken in any way, remember the Bluetooth OBD is broken anyway, that is like your you know, daily wage gone. You got to think, these things come in handy and when they do mess up, they will mess up and at least you've got backup in that sense. So remember, the K7 doesn't have it, the K10 does. So it's a no-brainer. I will pop the link below where you can grab one of these um, on Amazon. Uh, any questions, comments, by all means, go ahead, pop them down, and I'll try and get back to you all as soon as I can. But obviously, I get so many comments and messages a day. All right, guys?